All right, morning grade 11s, hoping that task 9.6 went well um, and that you're ready for task 9.7. I'm on page 396 of the textbook and I'm going to just go through the answers as always, just highlight the answers in yellow. Okay, as with all questions, there will be, be a lot of easy, straightforward stuff and then maybe a few transactions that are a bit more difficult. So, page 396, task 9.7 says... That VUCA manufacturers produces plastic tables, which they then sell to various retailers at a markup of 25%. Their financial year in, ends at the end of February each year, and we are only asked to do four ledger accounts um, in this activity. You'll see that three of the ledger of the general ledger accounts are stock accounts, so they're a different version of trading stock. Raw material stock, obviously nothing's happened to it yet. Work in progress stock, we've been working on it, but not quite finished and finish good stock, it's done, it's ready to be sold. Factory overhead cost is also a very important ledger account and talks about all the behind the scenes expenses in the factory. Okay, so the following information or balances rather appeared on the 1st of March 2005 and it gives us the three opening stock balances. So raw material stock, I can highlight my opening balance on the debit side, obviously the debit side because it's like trading stock. Okay, so it goes up on the debit side. Work in progress has an opening balance on the debit side of 12,000. Remember the work in progress I like to call like the factory, right? Why do I call it the factory? Because here is where you are making whatever you're making. The raw material stock I like to call the warehouse because here is where you are keeping all your stuff safe before, before they get called to be used. Okay, so it's often across the road and it's not the actual factory. And then also we have an opening balance for finished good stock on the debit side, which is like the sales floor where it has all the finished stuff there ready to be sold. Okay, so now we go through the information, the transactions for the year. Number one and two, raw materials amounting to 180 were bought on credit. Number two, raw materials amounting to 6,000 Rand were returned to creditors. Okay, so for this one, number one, you're going to have a debit side. Creditors journal, you've bought on credit, so creditors control, 180,000 stock has gone up. For the return, you're going to have an item on the credit side of raw material stock, creditors control, and creditors allowances journal of 6,000. We returned it, something was wrong, I don't know, we didn't want it. Okay, so we're almost done with raw material stock, it's as cool as that. Number three, consumable stores bought for cash for the factory amounted to 8,000 Rand. Okay, just be careful. Does this mean we necessarily used all 8,000 rands worth of consumable stores? What would we need to do in order to check this? We would have to go to the end of the activity and see if there was a carry down, brought down balance of, tra of consumable stores at the end of the year. Maybe we have not used all 8,000 rand. If we go look towards the end quickly of this activity, there is no balance for consumable stores. So we can assume we have used all 8,000 rand in the factory and there is the contract consumable stores. Okay, what happens if there was, let's say, 1,000 Rand of consumable stores left at the end of the year? We would have said 8,000 Rand minus 1,000 Rand, and this amount here would have been 7,000. Okay, so be aware of that. Number four, salaries and wages paid amounted to 110,000. 90,000 Rand of this was for direct labor, and the balance was for indirect labor. Okay, listen very carefully. When you would have paid this money, bank would have been credited, banks going out, going down, sorry, and then debit would have been salaries and wages, right? Then from there, salaries and wages would have been credited and you would have closed salaries and wages off to direct labor cost, right? And then to factory overhead. The direct labor cost, you are not asked in the story, right? In this exercise. But direct labor cost is then going to be closed off to work in progress. So there's a lot of closing off, but eventually direct labor cost of 90,000 Rand would appear on the debit side of work in progress. This is adding to the, the cost of what we are working on in our factory. Okay, Then the indirect goes to the debit side of factory overheads. There it is, salaries and wages. That's where it's come from. Okay, There is no indirect labor cost. It just comes from salaries and wages. General journal, because you've moved it around, and 20,000 is the balance. Okay, I hope you, you followed carefully what I said there. Number five, factory equipment lease charges amounted to 45,000. So we obviously don't own all our equipment. We're renting it, we're leasing it from someone else. But because it's factory equipment, it's not office equipment, 
it's factory equipment, it goes to the debit side of factory overhead costs. It's another expense associated with running the factory. Number six, rent amounted to 80,000 Rand for the year and must be allocated according to the floor area used. The factory uses 700 square meters, offers 100 square meters of the sales, offers 200 or the sales department, 200 square meters of the floor space. So all we are going to do is we're going to divide this 80,000 in the ratio 7 as to 1 as to 2. So the factory will get 70% of the rent. Not 70? Yes, it's 70%. There it is. 80,000 times 70% gives us 56,000 Rand. Okay, so that is according to floor space, 70%. That would mean that the office gets 10%, so 8,000 Rand, I guess, and the sales gets 20%, which is 16,000 Rand. But are we asked to do the selling and distribution ledger or the, the administration ledger? No, but that's where they'd go to. Okay, so it's invisible. It did happen, but we're just not asked to do it. Okay, the next one says other expenses were electricity, 40,000 Rand, allocate 70% to the factory. So there it is, electricity, 70% of 40,000 Rand is 28,000. Okay, it goes on to tell us about sales and administration, but once again, we don't care because we are not asked to do it. And sundry factory expenses, 3,000, simply just go chuck in sundry expenses, 3,000. Okay, so that's it for the factory overhead. We can total it on the debit side. There are no other costs to analyze. We can put that total on the credit side, and that means the full 160,000 is sent to work in progress. This means we are adding 160 to the debit side of work in progress, and we are adding to the costs of what we are making of 160,000. Okay, there it is. And it then says sales amounted to 517,500. We'll get there just now, I promise. Then, number eight, closing balances at the end of the year, raw material stock 11,000. So if I go up to my raw materials here, if it's telling us that the carry down and brought down balances are 11,000 to start the next year, what would it mean that we have sent to the factory? How much have we sent to the factory? Can you see that 178,000? will end up being my balancing figure. I've added up both sides, and 178,000 is the missing figure on the credit side. General journal, and remember the contra account is raw material issued. Okay, that's the ledger account that would get the 178,000 on the debit side. Do we ever get raw material issued general ledger? No. Okay, but it would go in on the debit side, and then it would go out again on the credit side, to direct material cost, which we are also not asked for. Then in the direct material cost, it would go in and out, and it would leave the direct material cost and go to work in progress stock. There it is. So there's my 178. And do you just see what, what I'm trying to say now? Maybe I'll highlight it in a different color here. That raw material issued does not match up with direct material cost. So we haven't sent it directly from raw material stock to work in progress stock. It's gone through two other ledger accounts before it's arrived at work in progress stock. It's a silly little thing. Don't stress too much about it. But it's just saying that there's a process. Remember I said raw material stocks like the warehouse, raw material issues like the bucky, raw material cost is like the reception of the factory. And lastly, work in progress is the factory. Okay, so be aware of those four steps involved. Then it says, work in progress stock at the end of the year is a question mark. Okay, so we don't know anything on the credit side of work in progress. Don't look at those figures just yet. Finished good stock at the end of the year was 42,000. So we can put this figure in here, 42,000. We know that at the end of the year, we still had 42,000 rands worth of stock available to sell. Right. And now, if we were told that sales amounted to 517,500, we can work out the cost price. Because the markup was 50%, we can do this calculation here at the bottom of my screen here. We can say cost of sales is equal to 517,500 times 100 over, okay, it wasn't, it was 25% markup, 100 over 125, and that's going to give you the cost of sales 
and I've just assumed we've sold it on credit in the debtors journal of 414,000 at the end of the year. Okay, so do you see by doing this, we have worked out how much finished goods have sold. We have sold and have left our premises, has gone to the customers. Okay, and why did we put it on the credit side? Because finished goods is going down, right? We've got less finished goods to sell. That means that if you total the credit side, you get 456,000. You could put that on the debit side. And then the balancing figure here on the debit side is work in progress. This means 432,000 worth, rand worth of um, plastic tables we have finished. And where does it come from? Work in progress. So if it's on the debit side here of finished goods, if I go up to the work in progress, it's going to be on the credit side. Finished good stock, 434. Okay? And then, if we know 434 here, the missing figure is going to be 6,000. How come? Because my debit side totals 440, which we put on the credit side too, and there's my balance carried down, brought down 6,000. What does that 6,000 mean? It means we are still working on 6,000 rands worth of plastic tables that we haven't quite finished yet. Okay? So that takes into account all the information now. Just recapping from the top, there's raw material stock. We buy on the debit, we issue out on the credit, and maybe we return some stuff we weren't happy with. Work in progress, always these four amounts on the debit side. And on the credit side, we finish whatever amount and balance carry down for the next year. Finished goods, we started with 22 available to sell. We got another 434,000 4, available to sell. We sold for 12. 14 sorry and we've got 42 still for next year factory overheads are all the behind the scenes expenses in the factory add them all up on the debit side and send it to work in progress on the credit side okay so that's 9.7 i hope you found it a doable exercise on to 9.8 and 9.9